hello to my fellow farmers. This is Rasalt from Rasalt Gaming. Or you can call me Russ. We're here at my brand new 8,000 cow pin setup. I took the 1,000 cow pin mod and put eight of them down here in the tightest configuration that I could possibly come up with so that I can get by using just two sets of silos. I'm standing on one. I got a little trick here that I can put these uh, teleport things up on top of things. I'll, I'm going to probably make a video about that. It's pretty cool. There's another one up there on top of the light and then I have a teleport on top of that silo way out there. It really it's a handy thing for taking some nice photos and videos of, from up high. I sure wish we had a <coughs> like a helicopter or, or something on, on console. That'd be cool. Anyway, so yeah, I set up this. I worked on it for hours getting it to work correctly and everything. And uh, the, I'm going to make a video as, of the actual setup and how to, how to set everything down. Uh, but it worked out excellent. So as you can imagine, um, 8,000 cows takes a heck of a lot of straw and feed. Um, there's in each side here, you, you see the far side over there and then this near side, there's four pins. As you can see, there's the feeding trough and then there you have that orange grid out here and then there's the feeding trough for that pin. And what I did was I overlapped the orange grids so to, to make it as tight as possible and uh, it worked out real well um, so there's four pins here so there's four thousand cows in this one and there's four pins over there four thousand cows in that one and uh, I <clears throat> I tried to make it as tight as possible so that I could use the least amount of silos and uh, and manure pits and um, so this is the setup I'm gonna jump down off of here um, and I'll go to the construction mode here to get a different view. All right, so you can see that. I actually got this one a little bit more narrow than this one. And uh, I overlaid them completely. This one here, I left a little bit of space when I overlaid the, the orange grids on these 1,000 cow pins. And uh, where you find these, you, you got to download the, <coughs> the mod, of course. And then it's uh, you go over to animals cows and it's it's right here the the cattle pen buildable feedlot pack and you can see see there's one that grid goes to there then the other one so they overlap now this one here I overlapped them completely almost see that that orange goes all the way to the next feeding trough so you can get it that tight. Uh, I imagine you could even go a little tighter because once you once you go down here t and uh, deactivate the orange, you go to this thing here to show the grid or not, you can turn it off and on. So even if you had this grid on the other side sticking out here under the trough, when you when you you know when you uh, hide the grid, you wouldn't see it anymore. So so actually. I could probably bring these in a little closer uh, and make it even tighter yet. But I wound up going with uh, the two, the liquid silo along with the liquid silo extension. That holds the slurry and the milk. So that's awesome. It automatically collects the slurry and the milk and works out super smooth. <clears throat> and then uh, these manure pits... It's uh, the manure heap with 360 rotation. That's the one I used for that. And by the way, I play on uh, Xbox uh, Series X. And um, so all these mods are available on console. So uh, I'm going to do a separate video of actually putting together the pin and all that. But uh, I pretty much explained it right there, which, which you got to do. All right, so let's get into the numbers here. Uh, like I said, this thing... It, it, it produced massive results on the uh, on the product, the milk and the slurry and manure. So I tested it for 24 hours 
in game one full day and I started I, I put in 4,000 of the brown Swiss cows and 4,000 of the Holstein cows there was no difference in production at all for the different breeds of cows they had identical results and so here's the totals for the 8,000 cows for one hour uh, excuse me for one day in the game 24 hours all right so they produced 1,200,000 liters of milk 2 million liters of slurry 800,000 liters of manure <clears throat> they consumed 700,000 liters of food TMR uh, went through 190,000 liters of straw for the bedding the total cost of the TMR for what they used the 700,000 liters of TMR cost $22,048 to purchase the straw got that free from you can get that free from fields so your net profit is 1,200,000 uh, liters of milk sold and it was uh, 2,252 per thousand liters so the profit on the milk was 2,702,400 and they produced 2 million liters of slurry and that sold at $111 per thousand liter for a total of 222,000 they produced 800,000 liters of manure and that sold for uh, $109 per thousand liter which wound up $87,200 so the total gross income was 11600 and then you take off the cost of the TMR, which is pretty pretty minuscule, really $22,048. Or $22, so you end up with a net monthly profit of $2,989,552 for these 8,000 cows. So <laughs> it's it's pretty crazy. It's a lot of work to uh, to maintain them. And, uh, you, you know, you got to work smart with, I mean, we're talking large, large amounts. So, uh, but, but those are the numbers. So, yeah, it takes, it, it's a constant battle to keep the, uh, the pins filled with uh, food and, and straw. Um, I came up with this method here. Uh, I actually use this method on other uh, setups, too, on other farms. I use these, these big bags or an amazing mod they're just awesome the lizard goods global goods transport bag they hold 200,000 liters and then if you if you attach this lizard three-point adapter to wheel loader tool to your three-point hitch on your front and the back of the tractor you can all you can pick up two bags with them and then on your front loader I'm using this John Deere uh, the Unreal, uh, the modded John Deere 4755. I love that tractor. Um, and then you put the front loader on, you can pick up a third one. So you got 600,000 liters capacity on this thing. And all of these are filled with total mixed ration. So I got, as you can see, two tractors for, <clears throat> for each rail here, for each feeding rail. And, uh, of course, you know, you want to f fill them up first with your big trucks. And then, but as far as maintenance, as you're, you know, like as you're farming and playing the game, so that you don't have to constantly make trips with your trucks to, to fill these things up. See, I've got them full right now. But all I have to do is let these sit. As long as these bags are suspended in the air over the, by the... <clears throat> by the pin here where you put the food in it's automatically you see it went down to 97% because it needed just a little bit and I can just leave this sit here and that's automatically gonna put food in there as it as it goes down now you can also just sit the big bag on the ground here which I do that for some things but it won't automatically feed it. You have to come over and use the B button to touch the big bag. Like say this was on the ground, you go you just have to touch it like that and then it'll 
and then it'll let go of the food and start feeding them. But with this method here, I needed a way to suspend the bags in the air. So this is what I come up with, and it works awesome. You just, uh, you know, you, you just, I'm going <laughs> to, it's a process, and this is a little time consuming to get this all built and set up. But my God, I'll, I'll go over the numbers with you here shortly. Um, it's amazing, and it's, it was just it was just a challenge to do. I was wondering, you know, it's like my whole thought process was basically, boy, wouldn't it be cool if you could set up a ton of these cows and have, you know, 8,000, I mean, possibly up to 10,000. Um, so, but the way I set it up was with 8,000 here with four pins on each side here. And, uh, yeah, you can just set these. You got to have the... You got to have the discharge arrow facing where you want to put the food in. So you have to set that up on these tractors. And uh, I won't bore you with pulling up all of these tractors. But that's the setup how you maintain feeding them automatically without... And, you, and you know, it takes... A, I mean, it's going to take a while to go through 600,000 liters of total mixed ration so uh, so that's the process on that so now on the numbers all right so like I said I did a complete one day test 24 hours I emptied out the manure pits I emptied out the silos I had I got the straw completely filled, the food completely filled, and then I started the, the clock. And then I advanced time exactly 24 hours ahead. And here is the results on this. 8,000 cows, one hour, okay? They produced 1,200,000 liters of milk. They produced 2 million liters of slurry. And 800,000 liters of manure. And th that's for all 8,000 cows. They consumed 700,000 liters of total mixed ration. And 190,000 liters of straw was used up for their bedding. Now, the total mixed ration cost for the... Um, hang on here. Yeah, 700,000 liters. It wound up being a total cost of $22,048. Okay, your straw you can get from the fields, so that's you get that free, unless you want to buy it, of course. Uh, and so, so that's really it. Uh, you know, the, the expense of filling the pin to start the test, <laughs> if you want them numbers, it took... 1,400,000 liters of straw, 8 million liters of TMR at a cost of 251,984. And uh, that's what it cost to, to get it set up. To, and uh, so, like you, like you see now, once you get all these arrangements here set up, all your trackers with all 600,000 liters of TMR, you can leave it go for a while and just go on about your day and then do your farming. And now this here, I don't have, I just set this up to, to do this 8,000 cow test. It's the only thing I got on this map right now. This is the Green Valley 22 map. I like the way it looks. I'm going to set up a farm on it and, uh, and I've never played this form. Anyway, so that's it for today's video on the, on the 8,000 cows. And uh, I think I will do a video on actually uh, building one. And uh, also, I'll do a little short video showing you how to set up these teleport uh, things. See, I've got them, like this one out here, that's the highest one up. There we go. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? For pictures or videos. And I just, I stacked a bunch of silos on top of each other. And then I put one of these uh, teleport mods up here. And then I deleted all the other uh, silos. So, so from the ground, whee! Uh, it looks it looks pretty weird because uh, you just see a silo. 
There, there it is. You see the silo up in the air by itself. So anyway, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I don't know if anyone else has set up one of these massive 8,000 cow pens. I, I actually did look on YouTube and didn't see anything. So I thought I'll go ahead and make a video on it. And uh, I have a small channel. I'm an older guy. I'm 63 years old. I, I love the game. Love gaming. And uh, just I make some videos now and then. I I'm a, was a big auto racer for many years on GTA 5. And I also play Forza Horizon 5. But uh, I plan on doing some of these farm simulator videos. It's such an awesome game. And uh, there's so many things you can do with these awesome mods that the modding community puts out. So, uh Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe. I'm working on trying to get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> uh, like I said, my channel. I don't. I don't do this uh, full time or anything. But uh, appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day.